La- 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cracking a Cold When It's Your Boy Brandon Tuck Tuck or whatever my name is at this point. I don't even know. And you know, fuck the rest of this intro. We have a guest this week. The man of the hour, the man of the power to sweet his heart, the woman spent the man's regret. <laughs> um, it's Bruce Duggan. As you can see, it's Eminem. Yeah, I, mean, it, it, I, I don't, I had nothing. I lost my train of thought. But, <laughs> but, 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 can we start with video games this this time since yeah. we didn't get to it last time? We, I just bought two new video games from GameStop, a way out for the Xbox One and uh, the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, I think it was. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. You're a Street Fighter guy. Well, I, I used to like Street Fighter. Well, I mean, we did just upload a Street Fighter video yesterday. Yeah. <clears throat> See, you plugging things. We're plugging mm-hmm. things and mm-hmm. things. So we got we to gotta feed it back, even though we're technically feeding it to Justin through Justin's platform. I don't know. Yeah. It's just an Inception thingy, but it's not an Inception thingy. You Someone like stop that. me. Someone stop me, please. Brandon. Hmm? Stop. I'm just wondering what kind of microtransactions we're going to have in Street Fighter. <laughs> I mean, uh, hopefully none. Cause... <laughs> I, I don't think there'll be any. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, very... I was very tempted to pre-order the uh, collection because they were, like, talking about how you get a copy of Ultra Street Fighter 4 on, uh, I think it's just all platforms, but I don't have it on yeah, PS4. Yeah, the, the lady at GameStop was telling us there was, a, like, 4 was only as a pre-order bonus. I have it anyway, so it's not yeah. like I need to Th- That's just get what I was game. about to say. It's like, I was, I was super excited. I'm like, I want to pre-order this so I can get the Ultra Street Fighter 4. But then I'm like, I already have that on Steam. Why the fuck do I... Why am I excited about getting it on PS4? <laughs> I have Street Fighter 4 on both my 360 and my uh, 3DS. Mm. So I like, like I need it for a third platform. Ah, uh, that 3DS port that just happened for some reason. It's a great port. Like, yeah. It's a really good looking game. I, I was surprised. Yeah? I was surprised today. Yeah, how come? Fucking Pokemon for the Switch. <laughs> Let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. Take my fucking money. Flower of Rufus just kind of drowns out a bit. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do I'm not. Is there like any announcements on that, or is it just rumors still? It's announced. They had a trailer that came out today. Oh it, shit! I gotta watch it. It uh, it revealed co-op, which co- surprised co- the co- fuck co- out co-op? of me. Co-op Pokemon. Pokemon yes. co-op. Uh, Excuse me? The game is going to be compatible with Pokemon Go. Whatever you catch in Go can be transferred to your game. I give no fucks about that, but you said co-op? Co-op. <laughs> co-op. Co-op Pokemon. Co-op. Co-op fucking Pokemon. Damn. Damn. Oh, I think Josh has got a text over here. My phone's <laughs> blowing up about po- this new Pokemon game. See? <laughs> See? It's in demand. Yeah. yeah I, it, they showed like a lot of like different ways you can play, and it's like... You get a Pokemon, a Pokeball attachment, and it also works with Go. It it looks like something I would want, but I would never fucking use. I hope it doesn't. It's not like too like leaning on Go because I barely play Go because I no. barely leave my fucking house. I imagine not. Yeah, it's it's just more so for uh, you can trade Pokemon and gifts with friends. And, um, what else? Oh, and everything that you catch and go, you can transfer over if you want to catch them that way. So how's the co-op work? Um, from what I saw in the trailer, from what I can remember, it was, uh, you just, it's like more so you drop in, you battle together, it together too. Is, Mm -hmm. um, I forgot how they showed the guy, uh, joining in, but it was a girl playing on her console, and her friend jumps in, you can travel, walk around together, and venture together, and battle together, essentially. Oh, Jesus. The real question is, is Tally in the game? Did they finally add Tally as a Pokemon? They should have. Hopefully they, they did. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Does hopefully. It, does it take place in Kanto, like the rumors were saying? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can double check while we're talking. Ah... Uh, yeah, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not searching for that. But, um, I'm happy. I want it. Yeah. It's finally yeah. happening. I mean, it's a Pokemon game on a Switch. I'll take it. Yeah, I, I can play know. it on my fucking TV at home. Yeah. With me. 
Yeah, and co-op. Just co-op. Unless, it, unless it's local. I hope it's not local. Well, when's it come out? You might need a new Nintendo, buy the new Nintendo service by the November. time this game's out. November. Yeah, like I said, November sixteenth. I think it, is it September. That yeah, the, the, the new Nintendo online service, whatever it's called, yeah. it's come, starts yeah. in September. Of course, that's yeah. only like twenty dollars a year, so it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. not bad. That's not bad. Rufus. Ah. Hey, buddy, wake up. Uh, ah. How's Detroit? Detroit, uh, masterpiece, yeah. man. Uh, everybody play that, or I'll cut you. Um, you know, it's uh, it's. Fuck Polygon. <laughs> <clears throat> what he said. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, can't say enough good shit about it. Uh, David Cage is a fucking mastermind. I don't know how that guy does it. Um, it's uh, it's very good that this game has come out now because I feel like uh, a lot of like the choice driven you know narrative based games have kind of been not choice driven. Uh, yeah, like I don't mean I don't I, I don't mean I'm not trying to be mean here, but you know, like uh, like she will remember that, and then she dies two seconds later. <laughs> you like you, you have like for example like Walking Dead, right? Season one. I take it yeah. we've all played it here. Probably. Yeah, I played all the all the Walking Dead Total mm-hmm. games. All right, Brandon. Uh, I don't think I no, I haven't played any of the Walking Dead ones. All right, well. Um, try to, like, I'm gonna, like, this is probably gonna be a little spoilery, but, um... Nah, I don't care. Yeah, but, don't like, care. regardless, I'm gonna try to put this in a non-spoiler way as I can. Uh, season one, yeah. great game. Uh, but if you look at it as, like, a choice-driven adventure game, not really. <laughs> because... Like, in all fairness like... to Telltale, it, it's hard to make it, like, really choice-driven when they keep making sequels. Because then that would be like a whole shit ton of different branching paths that then have to have their own branching paths. They're extremely talented developers, but at the same time, they need to understand their limitations. And if they don't yeah. want to go, like, if they don't want to be restricted by these limitations anymore, they need to fucking just be honest with people, you know? Like, they need to be honest with people, like, hey, we make, like, I don't know, 50 games a year. You know, and hey, she will yeah. not remember that because she's dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't you think know? it's necessary to like to do that shit. Um, it's way too ham fisted. Uh, I think Detroit does a wonderful job with the relationships in the game. Like you've got multiple people uh, that you can develop relationships with, and every now and again, every now and again, like the game just shows you uh, a stat, um, kind of like showing you like, okay, is this person like your friend? Or are they your companion? Are they neutral to you? Are they hostile towards you? And this completely changes the game. Um, like, say uh, you've got one of the characters who's a bit of a detective. Uh, he's got his partner. If you're cool with his partner, that may unlock new paths for like future investigations. You know, so if if he's hostile towards you, he might not help you with something that you want to do. Like maybe you want to cause some sort of distraction or something, so you, maybe you can check out like a restricted area. You know. Um, if you don't do that, if you, if, if you don't have a good relationship with this person, then you're not going to be able to check out that restricted area because he's not going to distract anyone for you. So, so many little things add up for Detroit, but I also understand that this game has been in development for like, what, five years? Um, but that's, that's the cost of making a game that's actually choice driven. If you tell me that your game is choice driven and it's not, don't do that. If, if Telltale were like completely honest, like, look. Basically, it's not like choose your own adventure. It's like choose your own flavor, you know, of an adventure. Um, maybe you want to have this character around or this character around for the finale, but both of them are going to eat shit at some point, you know. Um, <laughs> and by the time the next season hey, comes Doug out, Carly. none of that, yeah, none of that is going to fucking come into play. Who gives a shit, you know? Um, so if they do it like that, that's great. And another problem is like if you want to do sequels, then. You need to be committed, you know? Maybe you need to take a couple of years on the next season rather than pushing it out like a year later, you know? Um, and having such a tight schedule. Uh, but the the beautiful thing with, like, the David Cage's games is that they're standalone. So Heavy Rain is a one-off. Uh, Beyond Two Souls doesn't fucking, you know, try to force this idea. Oh, it's amazing. But, like, it doesn't try to force the idea that your choices completely matter. Like, it doesn't force that down your throat. 
because in the grand scheme of things, compared to Heavy Rain or like now Detroit Become Human, your choices in Beyond don't really matter that much, you know? Like, there's like no way to actually lose your character in that game as well, because you're only playing as Jody um, and Aiden, and there's no way to lose those two characters. Um, but with Heavy Rain and Detroit, you fuck up in an action sequence, that character's dead for good, and that completely impacts the rest of the game. Um, so like until dawn. Uh, yeah, un- until dawn. Uh, I love until dawn, but aside from your characters actually not, dying, a uh, bit of a spoiler I mean, here, but not really. Uh, you kind of get the same ending no matter what. Um, like yeah, he, it's just more so based off of Josh. Yeah, hey Josh. yeah. <laughs> like it's you still like get to the end, and if he's the playing more, the straight version of that Freddie Mercury. The more character, the more characters you have alive in Until Dawn, the more <laughs> difficult the final act becomes, uh, because you're gonna have to like go up against a lot of you know difficult shit, and you have to like suffer to actually make sure that all of your characters survive. But even if every single character yeah. dies, you will still get to that same location. You know. Um, it's just more so about, like, Until Dawn is like the challenge of how many people can you keep alive, you know? Which works for a horror game. Yeah. Um, Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, those games are about your choices directly impacting the story, you know? Um, and for that, I think Detroit Become Human has completely set the fucking bar, uh, for these choice-driven games, and, uh... Been and set the bar, they are the bar. Yeah. Keep quiet. <laughs> um, <laughs> Keep it down. Uh, and that but, car commercial. Please don't. Uh, so, regardless, Detroit, Masterpiece, uh, it fucking, compl- like, it makes a game like Heavy Rain, which is already impressive, uh, seem like child's play in comparison to Detroit with how branching the story actually is. Uh, the smallest shit can change in that game, and I, I, can't, I can't believe that they actually managed it. Like, the demo itself was amazing, and the entire game's like that. So, what you're saying is, buy Yakuza 0. Uh, buy Yakuza 0, buy Yakuza 1 Kiwami, pre-order Yakuza Kiwami 2, get ready to pre-order Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 remastered, and also buy Yakuza 6, but don't play Yakuza 6. Wait on the remasters for if 3, 4, and 5. Any of, those, any of those games on the PlayStation 2, that's the last Sony clip. Console I bought. Uh, Yakuza one and two are on the PlayStation two. See, uh, thank you. See, now I can now I can get those two games. Yeah. But you should also yeah. get yourself a PS four. No, uh, why should I do that? See, you have a real one, right? Uh, you have a, a Xbox. One. Moose, I'm gonna quickly answer that. Uh, like super quickly. All right. Uh, why you should buy a PS4. Alright, you got Last of Us Remastered, you got Uncharted 4, you got the Uncharted Collection, you've got uh, Detroit Become Human now, you can play Heavy Rain, Beyond, uh, you missed out on all those games, you got the Yakuza series. Uh, Until Dawn. Uh, you've got Until Dawn. Uh, you got a lot of exclusive games. Yeah, well, you can play a lot of games on the Xbox One as well. All the Xbox One games, all the Xbox 360 games, all the uh, Xbox games. No, fairness, <laughs> most of the Xbox One exclusives are also on PC. Oh, you know, that, that's, a, that's okay. I mean, I, I don't play on the PC. I got mm-hmm. I have a computer from 2011. I'm going to keep it <laughs> until it just completely eats itself alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna update. I'm not gonna get updates and get new drivers and whatever, and get a different computer just to play games. I mean, mm. um, I, like the Xbox One definitely has good games as well for exclusives. Um, you know, you know, yeah. You know, the Xbox One is the best way to play the, these 4K gaming games cheaply. You can't get a computer like. Yeah. like I can play those games for six hundred, five, no, four or five hundred dollars. You can't do that. How much are they paying you to say this? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I get that moose money from somewhere. In all honesty, the Xbox One's um, Xbox One X's like uh, emulator for the three hundred and sixty is phenomenal. Um, it it just it I I am still like taken aback by some of the videos that I've seen for Red Dead Redemption. Uh, that game running on four K is something else, um, especially like. Red Dead Redemption is probably a game that's never going to get remastered because Rockstar ain't about that life. Um, And (laughs) that's like the best way to experience it leading up to Red Dead Redemption 2 later this year. So if you haven't played that game and you have an Xbox One, fucking play Red Dead. And if you have an Xbox One X... I have Red Dead on an Xbox One, but not on an Xbox One X. 
I'm not sure about the difference, but uh, regardless, I still think that it may run for at like uh, 1080p on the regular uh, Xbox One, which is still a big jump. Um, but I've seen Ironically, footage of the Xbox. that's what I don't like about Red Dead. Running with the uh, horse. Oh, uh, man, what? I like the horse riding. Damn. The fuck, Sam? Yeah, oh, damn, Sam, indeed. <laughs> the fuck, Justin? <laughs> hey, man, don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> You know, yeah, like tossed under the bus right now. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, but wow. Xbox One X has definitely got that emulation thing going on, which is amazing. Uh, in the end, just buy all the consoles. Just buy everything. Get a Switch, get a PS4, get a PC, get an Xbox. Mm-hmm. You like games, just get all consoles and play everything. Don't get the Atari VCS. That's, that thing's a scam. <laughs> Don't get the Atari 5200. That's, that shit was shit. It was. Just it was don't cool. get an Atari. It's 2018. Uh, come on, Atari. <laughs> I almost bought the 2600 um, classic uh, flashback whatever for the Xbox One, but uh, I got Activision um, anthology on my Game Boy, so I don't really need that. And again, on his fucking, it's 2018. He got a Game Boy. <laughs> See this shit? See this dedication? <laughs> Dedicated, he's dedicated to not being in 2018. My my, one of my <laughs> favorite in television games is Burger Time. <laughs> Burger Time. You hear that, people? This is 2018 on my channel, and Burger Time has got referenced. <laughs> Burger Time. He, Burger. You know, it, it's a pretty big deal that the new Atari console is gonna have uh, real wood. Real wood? Yeah, it's gonna, they're gonna put real wood for some nostalgia. Uh, huh? <laughs> on, on their console coming up, that's it should be for pre-order tomorrow. Actually, mm-hmm. oh uh, shit! Under under the, the, the scam of a console, they're trying to, to bring up. <laughs> we just got done talking about fucking Detroit Become Human having like so many branching paths and being a revolutionary game, and now we're talking about Atari. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, tomorrow, Doug. Tomorrow, the new console's up for pre-order. This is news, my friends. This is news. <laughs> it was news. It was news for us. It was news. It was news. I, I fucking re- I reviewed Detroit. Moose actually gave us news. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I want to review something. Uh, Detroit become human. Go buy it. I know. Oh, I on. will. <laughs> Fuck Polygon. But um did 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 anyone nope. I know Justin did. Did anyone else listen to Enzo's song mm, Phoenix? I didn't, I didn't know Justin just told me about this today. Yeah. My question is I, when is Cass gonna get himself fired so he could make a rap group with Enzo? He has a lot better with <laughs> him in wrestling, maybe he could be better decent with him in the rap. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. I like the last verse. It, I the last verse was the best per the the, the best part of the entire song. Because yeah. I'm not gonna say it was bad because it, it wasn't the the worst thing. But can you answer that? No, it, it's Enzo Amore calling in right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Enzo was forcing a lot of it with his delivery, and it's like, yo, you don't have to scream. I understand that's you want that to be a thing, but I can't understand you, motherfucker. <laughs> But that last verse... I don't mean to was, change the solid. subject. Whose phone was that? Mine. As per Stone Cold Steve Austin's rule, your phone goes off during a podcast, you owe everyone here a beer. Uh, I don't right. drink. He, he could buy you a root beer. Okay, cool. That <laughs> yeah. works. There we go. Here you I mean, you you like Jack Daniels. <laughs> you, you, not Jack Daniels. It was Hennessy. Tennessee. It was Hennessy. With, with Pepsi. Granted. With Pepsi. I gave it the idea, sir. Yeah, yeah, and told me to put some ice in it, which I should have done from the get-go. It's like, even when he had booze, he still was a child about it. (laughs) Hey, man. You know, the the thing about Enzo was he he probably wouldn't have got fired if he just told WWE about what problems he was having. I kind of don't blame him, though, because you know that they were waiting on anything to fire him. (laughs) Well, that's that's his own fault. Really? Yeah. I also don't yeah. think that, like, WWE in general shouldn't fucking act the way they do because 
can we not forget that these guys are independent contractors, though? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're no, why, why do you always act like you're their goddamn parents? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they yeah, had the whole independent contractor thing. It's such BS. When they're, they are the one wrestling company in the world that could actually employ these people, give them health care and all this other things that comes with the benefit of being employed. It's not like they're actually independent of WWE and could decide what to do with all their say so. It's, it's so stupid. That's like the thing that fucks with me. It's like they're technically they are and they still don't get like the full benefits of being full time employees. Yet at the same time they're treated so badly when it comes to you know, actually having freedom. Well, the- it's like, hey, you want to grow your hair? No. Yeah, and everything they do is under a microscope. Yeah, and if these guys were able to stand up for themselves, you know, maybe they could get something done. But the problem is with WWE today is none of these guys are stars. So if anyone outside John Cena, may- and I bet he could even leave, and it wouldn't really affect the product. Because, yeah. I mean, if he was the product, it hasn't been the best in the world, and they're making more more money now with this new Fox deal than they ever yeah. made before, ever. Yeah. I brought that up last yeah. week. And they got Saudi money. And that's Saudi money. Saudi I, I money. Just, Women's revolution. I just, oh, don't fuck. Don't talk. Don't talk about the Saudi money, guys. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> regardless, uh, it's, it's not perfect, but uh, all I'm saying is, can't wait for Triple H to, you know, Take over. be the head of everything. Yeah. I know you didn't want to say it exactly, but I know you're thinking like... I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're I thinking, don't know what I can't you're wait for The Vince. thing that everyone yeah. wants, but not really. For, but we want, but we not really I can't want. wait for Paul Triple H Levesque. To take to, over after Vince dies, because it's the take, only way he's going to take over. To take over after Vince... To take over after Vince has a change of heart. <laughs> Wait, did you say Kingdom Hearts? I want to take over after... Wait, what? What? So Who's Monday Night Raw... Hearts? Who's the motherfucker that mentioned So Kingdom Monday Hearts? Night Raw... <laughs> <laughs> Monday Night Raw was uh, on Monday. Because Monday did Night the, Raw... What did you say that sounded like <laughs> Kingdom Hearts to me? <laughs> <laughs> Who said something about Kingdom Hearts anyway? I just thought who said Kingdom Hearts. I don't well, know what he well, said. The ki- isn't the enemies the soulless on there? And not, we're talking about WWE, so, you know, it, 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 co- it coincides with each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know where to start at with Raw. Uh, at the end. Yeah, the end? The, okay. just the, what, what was important? What's building towards the pay-per-view? Um, we had Jinder versus Seth Rollins, which was surprisingly fucking good. It ended oh, in disqualification. Oh yeah, Seth Rollins was in the match and it was good. That that's surprising. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. You know, I, I I'm pretty sure Ric Flair had uh, decent matches with um, Hillbilly Jim when he wrestled them too. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm just gonna put this out there. Any gender uh, shit talk will not be tolerated here. <laughs> um, so anybody thinking of shitting on gender? You're on thin ice. I just hey. feel like Brandon is kind of having some flashbacks here after Hillbilly Jim got mentioned. I, I'm not. Yeah. I'm yeah. not. I'm not saying gender's like Malabar Shira or some or, or Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> oh God, just fucking shit on Mr. Kennedy. I hope I hope Mink's watching this. <laughs> Comes for you, Mink. Gender, okay, is amazing. Lee Medio. That's all I have to say. Justin, did you it. not? Wait did you minute. not see? Wait, wait did you not see Jinder Mahal chopping the shit out of fucking AJ Styles? That motherfucker did a did a top rope karate chop. Okay, <laughs> anybody who does that, superstar of the year. Seriously, oh, should I kick the mic? Fuck. Oh, not the mic. See, I just not kicked the mic. The mic. I, oh, fuck. Ricky Ricky Steamboat did those chops all the time, but I don't think he ever got wrestler of the year from the Observer. Man. <laughs> You know, to, to, to uh, slightly. D- d- I'm surprised Jinder Mahal didn't get Superstar of the Year from Brian Alvarez just because he was chopping. And he was chopping. <laughs> Braun Strowman threw a ladder. Chopping. He, he threw a ladder. He threw a ladder. But he has to climb those. Yeah. He threw a ladder that damn near murdered Kevin Owens. I was afraid. <laughs> I just wanted to guess off of the- Jinder Mahal. <laughs> Known to something else. Okay, Pulse. <laughs> oh, Nia Dex is apparently a fucking heel again. 
Oh yeah, uh, she, I, I got it. That oh, she microphone. was amazing. It's like I, I enjoyed the promo. I enjoyed that segment. It's just weren't we just pushing her against bullying, and now she's bullying someone to yeah. show how she's yeah. gonna bully Rhonda? <laughs> you just you're backpedaling a little too much there, WWE. Well, even a bully be a star, <laughs> be a star. Well, it, yeah. the thing is, the woman's division probably doesn't mean anything to WWE, so... <laughs> that is true. Sorry, money. What are you Saudi talking money. about? Women's revolution. Sorry, money. Sorry, money. But women's revolution. Saudi. <laughs> but revolution. Revolution, Saudi money. They yeah, I'll be wearing burkas. Then they can be on Saudi TV. <laughs> or whatever. No, that's Beast when they Keeper get suits. executed. <laughs> no, they still get executed, even if they're wearing that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sami Zayn issued an quote-unquote apology to Bobby Lashley for that segment last week. Should have apologized to the viewers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Should have. That fucking segment. Like, WWE has not learned that those segments do not work. <laughs> Stop it. Especially when there are undertones of shit stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That poor well, man's ball. He's saying it doesn't work, but now they're making more money than they ever did. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, there's that. It's, it's, they, they don't they don't care. They just want the muns. They just want the muns. Yeah. I mean, we don't stop watching, but... Uh, I, did. I did. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, I kind of did. It, I just watch the highlights on YouTube every now and then with Adblock. As if I don't watch pay-per-views with these people. I'm just gonna keep scrolling down on this uh this list of things that happened on Monday Night Raw. You know the thing that we're talking about. Yeah. Because we don't watch it. Because I do. Um, I watch SmackDown. Too. Well, instead of watching Raw, we watched uh, uh, Tommy Rich versus Jerry Lawler, where yeah. he threw a fire at him. Fuck. Yeah. It was. See now, I heard it's not like you just said Fire Emblem. So what are all these video games coming into my head <laughs> that people are not saying, but I'm hearing. <laughs> It was a woman's gauntlet match. Uh, with that Sasha they, one, right? Which, yeah. Nah, she's in money, though. She's in the mid In the mid yeah. I can't. I can't wait for her to forget how to climb a fucking ladder. <laughs> and then somehow land on her neck. Oh. Because that's wrestling. I'll that's be good. honest. I turned the match the fuck off because I realized I didn't give a fuck. And I started doing something else. I think I started yeah. playing 2K instead. <laughs> Yeah, look, this is the one match I actually watched the highlights for because I was interested in who was going to win. The fuck? What is up with that book? I mean, Honestly. I just... Honestly. I don't know what I was going to say. I had something to say and then I just, I, I lost it. Maybe you think about okay, the book so too. why the fuck, what purpose, what purpose <clears throat> did Liv Morgan getting squashed fucking, what did that serve? Excuse me, hey. Liv Morgan got squashed? She did. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. The the the. I'm writing an angry letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bell the bell went off. Bell went off. Uh, it, uh, it started off with Liv and Bailey. Immediate ba- uh, Bailey to Belly. Liv eliminated. We gotta write a letter. gauntlet match. Uh, thank you, WWE, uh, for squashing Liv or what's her face. <laughs> I gotta write an angry letter to you. Yeah, yeah. who she who is me? <laughs> I'm sending yeah. an angry Moose? letter to Cosmo. What the fuck, man? Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards, uh, what we had Sarah Logan, she went in next. Yeah. Um, and another fucking excellent wrestler that was just pushed out of NXT way too quick. Mm-hmm. Um, she definitely needed more time there. Uh, if you've seen her stuff as Crazy Mary, you'd know that she needs to not be a fucking redneck. You know? Okay, that's don't say that. Well, um, he can say it now that he actually has he, a redneck. He can say the word. When he, yeah, he, I got sunburned today. Yeah, he has a redneck. He can say redneck now. <laughs> Don't say that, but um, regardless, uh, <laughs> regardless, she's she's amazing, fantastic in the ring. She just needed more time to adjust to the WWE, uh, you know, uh, system and all that. She needed more time uh, to get a different gimmick. She fucking keep be quiet. Um, she also didn't really do much. Bailey's out. We have fucking Sasha and Mickey. Please, for the love of every cunt in the world. Have Mickey do something. Like, like maybe can leave? We, can, can we just talk about the fact... Can we talk about the eat shit? Can we talk about the <laughs> fact that, like, Mickey James is... 
Like on Raw, who do we have? Uh, I can't think of anyone more fucking accomplished than her on Raw. And she's the only we've one. got the fact that she's. Hmm. I think she's the only one in the women's division that's the more most accomplished. Yeah, and she definitely deserves to be doing more. I mean, she fucking sold the Eclipse from Ember Moon like the fucking Rock taking the goddamn stunner. But the Rock taking the stunner is not good. If 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 you if you get the end, be quiet. It, his and fucking so cell we, is goddamn got, garbage, and people need to realize this. And I like and the for Rock. Sure, mandible. I like the Rock. I like the sure. Rock. But These that fucking things cell, are subjective. He does a fucking handstand. People bitch about Dolph Ziggler and overselling, but they like that. Yeah, it, it, it's totally kind of totally kind of. And. And yeah, so I, I, anyway, I like Mickey James. At the very least, he's kind of an old be yeah, pushing, as it seems. At the very least, yeah. At the very least, you could have Mickey in the fucking match, so she can actually put people over, you know, with her fucking selling. You've got a fucking la- you got ladders in that match. She can sell her ass off. Why? Oh, why is Sasha qualifying for this cocksucking match? She also she's, makes she's his, his Snoop Dogg's cousin, isn't she? Or something. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Hashtag women's revolution. Hashtag. It's all the money. Every time I see her, I can't help but think of her kicking air at the Royal Rumble this year. <laughs> forgot about that. I forgot all she about is that. so shitty. I, look, did she have potential? Yes. Was she good in NXT? Yes. Has she been good recently? No. I seem to recall her having a really good match, like, recently-ish. I guess who? Was it Oscar? It was Oscar. I think that was the match you're thinking. Oh, uh, surprise, surprise. Oscar Talk had a good match. Talk about getting... <laughs> but Talk it was about not just good because of something. Oscar. I, I'm, just, I'm just pulling your leg, buddy. <laughs> Talk about getting carried, though. So she didn't get carried in the match, though. She did good. You put Asuka in the I know with, that with you boom. don't like Sasha because she fucking injured Paige, but she's not bad. She's not a shitty wrestler. Right. I have been shitting on Sasha since way before that. Fucking not, not like this. Not look, like saying she's a complete shit wrestler. Look, my problem with her at the moment is her character doesn't work. When they did that fucking Bailey and Sasha thing, they were fucking like leaning towards Bailey being heel. Can you not? We like look. Sasha, in general, I personally, I haven't met her. I'm sure she's a nice person, but by all accounts, she doesn't creep. seem like she's a very, yeah, I, I, she doesn't seem like a very social person. Um, in general, she likes to, you know, not really like inter- interacting with people and all that. I understand that fucking wrestling fans can be way too disgusting sometimes, but um, in general, she just seems like she's not a fan. She's not like, you know, oh, I'm so excited to meet my fans and all that. She's not that type of person. That's fine. But... She's way better as a heel. As a heel, I feel like her ring work actually gets better. I don't know why we have her as whatever the fuck she is right now, as some sort of, I don't know, tweener, face, heel, who knows? Yeah, because the but woman's in division ring... doesn't matter, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> that's like job money. Yeah, that, that's, that's, an, or that's like a bigger problem in general. Um, but it upsets me that, like, that was the main event of the show, right? Yeah. You've got the fucking women main eventing. So, I don't understand any of this. I don't understand why that that specific... Like, I was actually excited to see this match because we also had Ruby in there. I wanted Ruby to win. Yeah, like, you could have had Ruby win and she would have done amazing in the Money in the Bank match. And she needs the push. And she's actually been booked. She would do great because so, she, she can fly. <laughs> Pigeon! She, she, would, she, would, be, she, would, be, she would be... She would be... She would be amazing. Goodness. She would be amazing in the fucking match. I don't understand why they didn't have her win. I I don't get the booking. Came down to her and Sasha, right? I can't, I, I, yeah, I think it came down to her and Sasha. Um, but yeah, in general, I really hope that, uh, you know, that match goes well, though. Um, uh, last year was garbage. Um, the four horsewomen in it. Yeah, I, last, last year was uh, fine, and then we had that finish. Uh, this year, I hope uh, an actual woman wins it. Um, <laughs> I want James Ellsworth two years and, in a row. Uh, 
and I and I hope that uh, I hope that uh, you know I hope everyone gets to do their shit. I hope everyone gets their shit in. I hope Sasha botches a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's bound to happen at least once. Uh, I'm not even watching yeah. the show, so at least if someone doesn't die, I'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that might be Sasha. Yeah, she always tries to kill herself anyway. So yeah. sacrificing that's her wrestling. body for wrestling, and all you guys, roof is shitting on her. So. The big news, guys. You know, it's gonna be yeah. it might be champion versus champion at all in Cody versus Nick Aldis yeah. for the NWA <laughs> and Ring of Honor title. If we could win it again at Best in the World, <laughs> the big, the big nice. story here. Just moose with the fucking news today. Yeah, yeah. I, I got. I, I'm the news person of the show. I, 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 I bring in the real stuff here. Yeah. See. Yeah. Look, as as long as we can, as long as we can actually, you know, I love you for talking about All In. Can we just talk about All In? Yeah, let's talk about All In. Sure. Raw sure. was boring. Was probably, yeah. I didn't watch it. Yeah. I can, I, I can yeah. say it's boring. I'll be right, like, recorded all the you, time. You, yeah, yeah, you would be. You would be. So All In. Yeah. All In. Fucking All In, man. Uh, Cody. Kid Cuddy song. Ha- is this like the... Is this like the first instance of Cody recently actually like being out of character in interviews? Because I feel like that motherfucker has been uh, keeping that kayfabe alive. Oh yeah, yeah, he definitely. Yeah, uh, he tries to keep the kayfabe. Yeah, I've been kind of shocked to see him like promoting the show and actually being himself and answering questions and shit. Yeah. Um, but Moose. Yes. How excited are you for the? Uh, uh, inevitable Vince Russo segment on that show. <laughs> um, I'm never really excited for anything Vince Russo, but you know, people <laughs> shitting on him. I, you know, uh, no, you know what? You know, anytime anyone shits on him, I got, I got, I got to pay attention to it. So, <laughs> uh, I'll be, you know, Cody, he's so beyond uh, even wanting to talk about Vince Russo. I don't think it will happen. But <laughs> uh, yeah, if if bring up if. They can get Ring of Honor to stream and put it on pay per view. I'm def- I'd definitely like to catch the sh- the event. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Is it being streamed anywhere or? Um, they 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 need Ring of Honor's permission with all the well, with mm. some of the talent anyway. I mean, if the main event's Cody, gotcha. Then you know they can't. But do they have cheeseburger? I don't know if he's all in. He hasn't been confirmed yet, my friend. Damn. Damn, Sam. It's crazy. They sold out this so with maybe one match announced before they sold it out was Nick. Al- wasn't even announced yet, but Nick Aldis versus Cody, and they did ten thousand people right away. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. It just makes me happy that it's doing so well. They, they first of all, they deserve it, and second, it's like no, it, they did not. De- just really, they did not deserve it. They earned it. They worked hard, and they, you know. It wasn't de- nothing was deserved here. They goddamn earned it. They worked for it. That's all. Yeah, they, that's shit. All yeah it definitely. That's how it happened. They got this shit. Yeah, together. they earned the fuck out of it. But like in general, I'm just happy that they're uh, they're they're getting this much success. Um, I didn't th- like. I didn't think I'd see the fucking day when uh, uh, an indie show would do so well in the U.S. Um, I mean, we've had a lot of like independent shows do extremely well, but at the same time, like we've got we're talking about this shit selling out. With as you said, like a single match being fucking announced, and <laughs> what was it? Was it like a couple of hours or even less? Thirty minutes. Yeah. Thirty fucking minutes. That's almost as quickly as those uh, VIP tickets for fucking Ninja Sex Party's August show here. And for a so fair comparison, the New Japan show at the Cow Palace next month has not has been. They have been having some trouble selling tickets. They haven't sold it out like the last show. They're, they're going to a bigger arena, yeah. obviously. That's. Mm. I think it's six thousand people you could put in the cup, uh, and they haven't. Yeah, they haven't. Uh, so they haven't done as well as they have with the last shows, which Dave Meltzer is predicted because when you enter a market for the first time, there's a lot of hype, and when you come back, you, you know the problem. I think the problem was people were expecting this amazing show that's ten out of ten, even though it was, the last uh, New Japan show they did in the U.S. was really good. You know, it's not. They're not going to do Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, there was some unfair expectations going into that show. Um, I have a question. Yes, I I, yeah. I haven't done one of these in a while, but did you guys know 
and it's a little off topic. But did you guys know that the winner of the Money in the Bank match is guaranteed a championship match of their respective show? You know, I really don't like the Money in the Bank concept. Well, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> but Jericho won the sixth one. In Appleton. In Appleton. Wisconsin? Yeah. If that's where Appleton is. Yeah. yeah that's where my sister lives. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. See? She can vouch See? for Jericho. See? <laughs> I don't... Is, I, WWE's gonna be here in this town on the third. Are you going, Justin? Uh, no. Damn it, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Fucking WWE tickets. Get the fuck out of here. I can't afford that shit. Hey, 20 bucks. That's for, like, nosebleeds. Yeah. Can't like, see shit. Because I mean, you're not wearing your glasses. Even if I have my glasses on, I would not be able to see shit up there. If you squint hard enough, then maybe, maybe you could see something. I will not you, see you, shit. you can see Cass. He's seven foot tall, even though he's pretty close like, yeah, to Brian Danielson. Can't, <laughs> can't teach that. We didn't talk about SmackDown. Um, uh, some stuff happened. Yet. I, some stuff happened. I, I don't get why they did a well, I get the money to dance off because they think they're a freaking cartoon. But I mean, I did. I mean, I, I mean, it's enjoyable for it was. I just, I don't think it. Yeah. You know, it's just, was it enjoyable though? Yes. Uh, I mean, come on, it was two women shaking their asses. I mean, <laughs> but the camera was like but facing the, Lana's front when she was shaking her ass, and like, what are you doing here? Are you trying to be horny or not? But my thing is, it's like if I it was if I was playing Final Fantasy and it, then they started like playing, started doing memes or something in the middle of the serious game. <laughs> this this company has uh, this company has Ronda Rousey and Saudi <laughs> money. They've got they and they've got cat asses being shaken, I guess, and you know. Yeah. I guess uh, I'd be pissed if Ronda yeah. enjoyed the segment. Like, how are you gonna get over <laughs> if you beat up some woman that shakes their asses? Obviously, I think she's on a different brand, right? She's on, she must be on Raw, and this happened on SmackDown. Yeah. Still, like, uh, 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 regardless, it's like this company has Ronda, and they're doing this still on their programming. Like, if I was Ronda Rousey, I'd be telling creative, if I'm not just squashing these girls, I'm not even going to wrestle them. Like, what, what the hell's the point? They're goofs. They're clowns. They're nerds. They're geeks. Yep. They're, they're, they are fucking geeks, that's for sure. I mean, you know, I'm not saying they're, like, geeky in a way, or like, uh, like a person who plays video games or watches anime. I'm saying they're geeky in a way that they're, they're, they're not these... They're pro- wrestling geeks. They're, they're not, you know, they're not... Uh, they're pre they're prelim wrestlers. Is, is what I'm saying. They're prelim yep. wrestlers. Ronda Rousey's a main event person. She doesn't. Yeah. Which upsets me because like, and this is like the main issue. Even like when I go back to like you know my my previous fucking rant on why Sasha can stay fucked. Um, it's even when you have wrestlers that are not you know the best. That's fine, but you need to kind of work around that. You know. So like in that segment, you've got Lana who showed some potential, but isn't quite there in comparison to everyone else on the roster. Um, I love her, though. Uh, she's amazing on the mic still, if they give her the right material to work with. I don't like her being a fucking comedy act with Rusev. They're over as fuck. Book them well. Go back to you know what actually worked in the beginning. Um, but it's like all these wrestlers, the reason we don't end up enjoying these segments and all is because, first of all, no. No. <laughs> Dance off. No. <laughs> No! I Don't do that! No! No! But, um... Brandon enjoyed it. Aside from that... But no! They, they, aside they from make that... you well pay the pay-per-view. Uh, the problem is, like... You, they don't, it doesn't matter if it sells... If it, it doesn't need to sell a pay-per-view because it's not pay-per-views anymore. Mm-hmm. Network. Yeah. 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 yeah it, the network is, a, is so good, but it's so evil when it comes to them actually trying to sell people on the actual shows. And the network doesn't even matter because they're, they they make their money on these TV deals and hashtag Saudi money. Yep. Saudi money and fuck. Yep. 
And guess what? But guess what? Guess what? Get TV I... ratings. Some girls shaking their asses. Like some kid could just be swimming <sighs> channels. You'll see that. Like, oh, geez, I'm watching this show now. There's, there's, there's... That's so. <laughs> but do you actually think that this kind of stuff will get ratings though? Like in 2018? No, because there's the internet. But you know, it doesn't really matter because they get the fans who are gonna watch anyway. Me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <Brandon. laughs> I don't know. It's like you've got Lana, who actually they're they attempt, they're attempting to do something with her. So I really wish that they would just actually like you know put the fucking rocket on Lana and Rusev. Aiden English as well as like part of the whole stable, so he's cool. You know, um, I wish they'd do more with them. They're over as fuck. Do something. I wish they um, just let people as, go as, and then do something else other than. Be- like, you know, you want them to go back to what they were, but you can't be the same thing for years and years and years and still be over. Sometimes people just need to leave, but the problem is there's only one place to go unless you're going to New Japan yep. or get signed by Ring of Honor, which they don't... I mean, they make you, you make NXT-level money there. They, you're not making WWE money, and Impact Wrestling is basically nothing anymore. That's, like, what makes me happy for all these, um, all these people in WWE. I'm happy that, like, financially they're set, and they're doing well, um, but at the same time, it's upsetting that like they're wa- they're kind of wasting their years, you know. Like Rusev at the moment, if you put that guy in New Japan, I'm pretty sure he would be just phenomenal. I- I'm sure that he would also improve, you know. Um, and uh, Lana, if she were to go with him, you could maybe see something like the what what happened with you know um, Mike Bennett and Maria Kanellis. Uh, Maria Kanellis was basically just an enhancement talent for WWE. And don't get me started on the fact that they sign enhancement talent. They sign people to use them as enhancement talent. <laughs> what the fuck? But, um, like, you've got, like, Maria was nothing special there. She went, on, she went on to do her own thing in the indies, and she was over as fuck. She was amazing at what she did. So I, I'd love to see something similar uh, done with Lana. But even then, when Maria and Mike Bennett were fucking signed to, uh, to WWE, they just did nothing with them. And even like when before everything else, like before everything happened with those two, they still weren't doing anything with them. They just had them coming out talking about how they were in love. I guess Valentine's Day gimmick. Okay. I mean, every time like people on Twitter like tweet at Mike, they're like, "Hey man, what the fuck? Why aren't you doing shit in WWE?" And he's like, "Yo." But I'm in WWE though. Shut the fuck up. I'm happy as fuck right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they're happy, I guess that's cool, you know? But regardless, you as a wrestler, I feel like you actually want to wrestle, you know? But uh, if uh if you're happy, you know, with the treatment, if you're being compensated, I guess that's cool. But I don't know. I think like the the like the most ideal thing is like to go the AJ Styles route. That guy did everything there is to do. Now he's in WWE and they're recognizing his talents, um, and he's able to you know make all that WWE money, you know, and uh, he deserves Can't it. Can't get anymore, and, uh, but you know. As... <laughs> you know what? The real route to go is the Austin Idol route. Just leave when you're ever dissatisfied and stand up for yourself. <laughs> 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 oh damn it! <laughs> but, 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 yeah. but my favorite story, as I told Justin this today, is when he was working in the Georgia territory for whoever ran it, and he won a battle royale, and the promoter gave him this big check with his name signed on it, and he wasn't happy working there, so he decided to take it to the bank, and he asked, they won't they won't sign it at first, but they were asking all the bankers, or he was asking all the bankers, you, you saw the matches, right? You saw the matches, and someone actually did, and he, he cashed in the, 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 the 10000 or $30,000 check, and of course, he that was his notice of the promotion, see, it's stuff like that I, I really enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, more power to him. Ah, but regardless, the point that I wanted to make about that whole fucking segment, I know that I'm making a big deal out of nothing, but um, they they could be doing more. My, okay, doing Justin, more, especially my question to you is, who do you want rated from New Japan to WWE now that they got all this Fox money coming in? Um, no one. No, they could stay in New Japan, where they're actually doing things. 
Let's see. Maybe they'll get Hiroshi Tanahashi. Maybe maybe they'll get juice back. Don't. <laughs> the juice will be loose. <laughs> God, they would fucking ruin Tanahashi so <laughs> they, they They probably would. Yeah. A dream match of mine is actually, for years I've been saying on our forum, is Tanahashi versus John Cena, but I don't, I can't imagine them treating Tanahashi seriously like that. Yeah, of course not. Cena needs John to go Cena to, needs to go... Yeah, John, John Cena needs to go to New Japan for that and do like the whole Chris Jericho thing. Yeah. Just go complete fucking piece of shit heel <laughs> on, on Tanahashi. And, and curse way more Thuganomics. than anyone actually really curses in real life. Well, they, they won't understand him anyway. It's Japan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I heard some fucking big marking out moments for the crowd when Jericho was cursing. Ah, uh, that, that could be. They, uh, I, I don't know any Japanese curse words. Well, well, he was cursing in American, though. Uh, I know, but I, I'm just saying that, like, someone, if someone... I, in America, I was in, in, I was in Canada, and if someone cursed me in French or something, I would, like, I'd just, I'd just smile at them and, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't have a clue. In American. <laughs> Can we Man, they cursed an American over there. Hey, American. We, we say elevator instead of lift. We, we, eat, yeah. we, eat fr- we eat fries instead of we chips. We say color instead of color with a U. <laughs> yeah. And we also curse an American. Curse an American. America. America. <laughs> so, what else happened? your favorite wrestler, Keith Lee, is coming in. I guess. No, yeah, yeah. Keith Lee coming to WWE. Better not fuck that up with the guy. You know they are. It's, it's almost guaranteed that they will. Can't see him at VIP anymore because he's going to be in WWE. They better not fuck it up. Man. What, what's his new WWE name going to be? Uh, uh, Lee Keith. Lee Keith. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. I'm, I'm going to miss the, uh, what were they, the Pretty Boy Killers with Shane Taylor? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were tag champs in VIP until he signed with WWE, then they had to vacate the titles. Sam. Sam. Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix are going to be in a uh, four way that determines the new t- champs. So, we're, so I seen uh, GCW with uh, Elmo the Green Bastard versus uh, some American gimmick guys. Yeah, yeah, Elmo was kicking some ass apparently. Yeah. When's Elmo gonna be? With all with all their Fox money now, are they gonna sign Elmo? That's the question. We need to know. And with the new fucking Sesame Street goddamn radar movie, you know Elmo's got some good <laughs> shit going on right now. <laughs> that fucking movie. <laughs> it's becoming a big deal. Yeah, it's becoming a big deal. We saw the commercial today at the pre or the fucking for the Deadpool right. two previews, and just how did he have so much jizz in him? Oh, All right. okay. I, I got, I got a real question. Do you guys now that now that SmackDown's well, not now, in a week, like year and a half from now, SmackDown's yeah. gonna be on Fox, and that's one of the top networks you could be on. Is it gonna be the A show now? They're gonna make it four hours long. <laughs> oh my god! Please no. Please no. <laughs> For fuck's sake, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to make a I don't know it's hard to make a good three hour movie and they make like a three hour raw every week it's like I can't imagine being able to make the good the bad and the ugly every single week and I wouldn't expect someone to and that's why I would never do it but they're doing it <laughs> yeah so the fucking uh, Daniel Bryan Samoa Joe thing mm-hmm. cause uh Cause fuck us, you know. Just fucked us up this match. I mean, it's still good, but fuck us. Yeah, well, come on, Cass needs to be. Why didn't Cass, Cass needs to be in the ring with great workers so he can become decent. Come on, guys. Yeah, no, no, I, I I'm <laughs> fine with it, but it's just like you don't tell me that I'm getting a TV for Christmas, and then you give me socks with TVs on them. <laughs> it is it's not BS. the same thing. That just was hyped up, and they they decided to change it around. Yeah. It's the attitude there all over again. That and the dance battle. <laughs> oh man! But I, but it's probably better to save the singles match between those guys. Or yeah, later definitely. On. Yeah, 
Yeah, but like that. What what annoys me is that like they've already given away so many fucking Daniel Bryan like dream matches. Like they they straight up had like AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan in there. Granted, like Shinsuke ended up interfering and going straight for those fucking phenomenal oh, come ones. Come on, you just buy some re- old Ring of Honor DVDs and you could have your dream match right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my friend. Didn't didn't I mean, Daniel I'm talking break about, AJ? I'm, <laughs> He's like, I'm not buying those wait. DVDs. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, like, obviously, we're very aware of all those things, but look, at the same look, time, we're talking dream, about, like, dream matches are about, matches like, that never happened. I want Brian Danielson versus Kurt Angle, and that yeah. could actually happen. Now. I want Daniel Bryan versus Lana. <laughs> <laughs> In a dance-off. How about... In a dance-off? I'll raise off? you one even Daniel better. Wins. I'll raise you one even better. How about Daniel Bryan versus Dana Brooke? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Give me that right now. My pants. Uh, if you guys get those matches, I can have Coal Miners Glove match between. Well, it's a pole match basically between Vince Russo and Jim Cornette. You gotta give me that if you get if you guys get all those matches. Yeah. <laughs> when when Jim Cornette is able to actually sort his mental health out. Uh, no, we, we gotta can, do it before he does that. No, because <laughs> then it won't be fun. Please no. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> you know, like you know that you fucked up when you have me siding with Vince Russo. Well, that, that's because you're fucked up. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> uh, Jim Cornette, like, th- there's, there's, you know, there's entertainment. There's okay. Like, I listen to funny. his, I listen to his podcast every week. I'm his biggest fan. I, 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 I met the guy with Snoopy, and you know, there's, you, you know, yeah, he, he, he said some things, but <laughs> gee whiz, it's like. Vince Russo, it's not like he doesn't say anything in it, and he's done this EPO BS too. Or... See, but like Vince Russo says some stupid shit, but he says some stupid shit with a real New York accent. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, the thing about the Vince Russo and Jim Cornette thing is like, whatever happened, happened, and my God, is that in the past? So it's either like you shut the fuck up about it. He shut the fuck up about you... it. He doesn't like he barely talks about him now. Yeah. And he said it himself. He doesn't want to make Vince Russo relevant anymore. Yeah, that's mainly because fucking Vince Russo went ahead and got that restraining order on him. Look, no, he did. the restraining order actually... is you can't be physically next to a person. He can say whatever he wants about him. The restraining order is still in effect. Yeah. I still think that, like, in, in all honesty. That I actually agreed with Vince doing that because it was like okay, it was entertaining for a while. Also, oh, kind of. Oh, so, becoming oh, so he 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 was been threatening for all these years, and he tries to get a job with Ring of Honor. He was so threatened by Jim Cornette when Jim Cornette was booking Ring of Honor. He decided he's, he he going to apply for Ring of Honor. That's how threatened he was. <laughs> yeah, all, all <laughs> politics aside, <laughs> I, I just don't think that uh, you know. <laughs> Some of the shit that Jim has said is uh, very acceptable. Like, in ter- like if we look at it past look. the lens of like professional wrestling and the drama and all that, like you've got two grown ass adults. He can say you, know? you can say whatever you want to a person in uh, in America. Like you can't do that in other countries like Britain and whatever. I don't know how it is in Kuwait or whatever. You can say whatever you want. You can't That's... do whatever you want. And he. They were both they were both booked for WrestleCade one year, and you know what Jim Cornette did? He decided he's gonna pull out because he doesn't want to be in the same place with the person. And you know what? I've quit a I could be working in Red Dog Mine right now, and I said no, I'm not working there because I know there's a person I absolutely hate. I'm not gonna yeah. go on a rant about him what year and what I was gonna do with him, what I would do with him. I'm not working there because I I'm an adult and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go beat his brains and. Right now, because you know he doesn't, you know he's not worth my time anymore. But gee whiz, like I'm not gonna, yeah, like you know it's not that <laughs> I'm not gonna be in a situation where gee whiz, you know he should just die because I'm fine with him just dying. <laughs> but you know I'm not, the, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna work. I love the numerous gee whizzes in there. Well, yeah, you know, G was, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not, it's not <laughs> you know, I, I, get, I gave up a higher paying job to because I don't want to end up in jail or something either. Regardless, I think it's just like it's it's like the mature thing to do is to just let shit go, um, and I don't know. It's like if if, well, well, if why should you, you know, like go? Jim has said multiple times that like you know Vince Russo is like kind of disingenuous when he talks about you know kind of like burying the hatchet and all that. But in all honesty, if if I was in Jim's place, I would go ahead and you know 
take Vince Russo up on that and see if he actually means it, you know? Because that's the best thing to do. Wow. Rather than, wow. like, you know, if he feels like he's being baited by Vince, then don't take the bait. Actually, go ahead and, like, actually be like, you know what? Yeah, sure. Let's squash our differences. And Vince, if he's a man of his word... They, he already did that in TNA. Not, he shook his hand and he turned his back on him. So why should he take his word now? Yeah. Like the, the well, insanity, yeah. insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, and expecting a different result. And on that note, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, my ear. It's been an hour. It has been an hour here. <laughs> we, well, we, we we reached the one hour time limit for our NWA World Title match, and Cody will not be getting the title. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. We well, Cody can over. we get some so. last words from Brandon though? He basically barely spoke there for a while. Brandon, 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 please tell me you have finally come up Wait. with an outro. You know, I'm starting to think this is a running but gag that we didn't plan because um, do, do not abruptly end this though, because I do have uh, I do have something to say though. Um, I don't want to end on a somber note, but I, I did want to I did want to mention something that's kind of personal to me since I'm on the podcast. Which is uh, recently, uh, Total Biscuit passed away. Um, so I want to take a moment to just, um, you know, talk about the fact that he will be missed, and he's um, a big inspiration for me in terms of like, you know, just um, my views on gaming, things I notice about them, and like I talk about video games here a lot. So I figured like it's worth mentioning, uh, giving him like a bit of a shout out, and saying that my thoughts are with his family and his loved ones and all that stuff. And uh, yeah. Want to put that stuff out there? Yeah. Okay. Now, Brandon. Take it away, Brandon. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on, Brandon. Um. Take take your vitamins and eat your vegetables. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is cracking a cold one. Should you make a uh, reference to a drink or something? Hey, man. Not like I'm a wordsmith or something like that. Fuck <laughs> Polygon. <laughs> <laughs>